Producer Mike and I recently went on a trip, and I took the opportunity to put together a travel art bag. We're back home safe and sound, and now I want to show you the sort of arting things I took with me. This bag is intended for cosmetics, and I've used it for decades. It's made of clear vinyl and plaid fabric. I gave it a washing and let it air dry for several days before putting my art supplies inside. On the rare occasions when I travel, it usually holds my makeup, cleansers, toothbrush, deodorant, band-aids, that kind of thing. But since I don't make myself up as much as I used to, I used a smaller bag for that, leaving this one available for art stuff. There were two items that I purchased new for this art kit. One was the watercolor sketchbook from Paul Rubens. The dimensions are 5.3 inches by 7.6 inches. The paper is 100% cotton, 140 pounds, and hot pressed. There was enough space to add a second book of similar size, but I only needed the one. So I slipped in a couple of packs of facial tissues instead. Don't mind me getting handsy there. I was clearly fascinated by the magic of transparency. For some reason, I'd also tucked a stained washcloth in there. It had gotten a thorough scrubbing beforehand, but it still looks totally disgusting. Sorry about that. It was used for paints only, I promise. Luckily for me, producer Mike loaned me his Da Vinci watercolor palette. Normally, those tins close securely, but this particular one doesn't, so I wrapped a stretchy hairband around it to make sure it stayed closed. The purple printed baggie is meant to hold its matching shopping bag, but it's handy on its own, too. It was just the right size for the collapsible water container, which is the other item I purchased for this kit. It's from Faber-Castell, made of rubber, and is weighted on the bottom. The Blick pencil case was sent to me by a viewer. It's so roomy, and I was happy to have it for this trip. Yeah, we had to go across the country to attend a family wedding, but thankfully, relatives footed the costs of flying and accommodation, so we took the opportunity to spend a day at the Magic Kingdom. I'd never been there before, so it was quite the adventure for me. I can now say that when people warn you about those random Florida rain dumps, they are not kidding. Inside the pencil case, I stashed a mechanical pencil, several colored pencils, a Pigma Micron fine liner, a stacking point pencil, a click eraser, a compact pencil sharpener, a couple of binder clips, an elegant writer calligraphy pen, a water brush, a Jin Hao 992 fountain pen, 
and a Twisby VAC 700R fountain pen. <laughs> that looks splotchy because the reservoir is nearly empty. Gotta refill that. The fountain pens were included to use, yes, but also to see how well they would travel. And they went through multiple flights without any leakage whatsoever. It's been several months since my fountain pen journey began, and I've yet to experience a leak. It's almost like the longer things go without a mishap, the more I dread it. Oh, I also managed to fit my Clairefontaine basic notebook into my underseater bag. It was probably more notebook than I needed, but it's nice and flexible and was handy for keeping travel notes. Since I had access to a sink and a water container, I didn't fill my water brush. I simply dipped it like a regular brush, and it worked fine. I did want to get one of those compact travel brush sets that come with several brushes in varying sizes, but we were trying to keep things on the cheap, and since we were attending a wedding, I'd already had to buy a dress. Flying from Seattle to Orlando takes five or six hours, I think. So knowing we were going to have a long flight, we made sure to grab a bite before boarding. I ate half of my chicken wrap at the airport and saved the other half for later. It was pretty tasty. Sure, it was loaded with lettuce, but the chicken was well-seasoned, making it a satisfying meal, both pre-flight and mid-flight. I thought I'd give painting trees another go, but no, I still suck at it. Watching a couple of skinny squirrels run up and down that tree made me miss our chunky squirrels back home. I took note of some of the wildlife I saw. This critter's spread was done with the elegant rider pen. The first night at the Airbnb, a black cat walked onto the back patio in the dark and rubbed up against producer Mike's legs. I don't blame her. He's got great legs. In the morning was when I spotted the squirrels and doggy on the front lawn. The geckos popped up wherever and whenever, randomly. I wish I'd waited to do this piece because later on I got to see a horsey, too. We were treated to a meal at a restaurant called The Breezeway. We got to sit out on the covered patio and I ordered their fried jumbo shrimp, which I recommend, by the way. The coleslaw was a lackluster side, but the shrimp were plump and tender with a light, crispy batter. Was I mildly sloshed? I prefer to call it pleasantly buzzed. I expect there are a few people out there who understand the awkwardness of being thrown into a large group of strangers which happens to include your partner's ex and former in-laws, so I don't need to explain that, just like I don't need to explain my indulgence in a sangria and a hurricane. Hey, the gal next to me had an entire bottle of Chateau San Michel. Just saying. Now, the last spread. 
I had taken a photo of the exterior of Gaston's tavern inside the Magic Kingdom. Later, while at the airport in San Francisco, we had a long layover there on our way back, I pulled out my art kit and started sketching this piece, but I wasn't up to painting and left it there. Saving it to paint later, I guess. Will she? Won't she? It's a mystery. I'm happy to share my first visit to Florida, the Orlando area, and the Magic Kingdom. The next Inkworks video will be another Magello journal session. That's where I swatch, mix, and paint with a featured color from the Mission Gold Pure Pigment set. It's been a while, right? That should be the eighth one, I think, in that series. Anyway, that's what's coming up next. Until next time, stay artsy, my friends.